Alright, the internet, I am Gruff Games, and welcome to my guide series for Ark Survival Evolved. In this part one, we're going to be looking at the stats, the attributes. If you've been wondering about what you get for each stat, how they interact with each other, what sort of build you should go for, what the frickin' hell is a fortitude, well, you come to the right place. We can start off by looking at the user interface in game. Uh, if you look in the bottom right hand corner, you have a selection of icons. We we'll start with the second one, which is basically your weight limit. Uh, this will indicate how close you are to reaching your maximum carrying capacity. Now, something to bear in mind, uh, the thing that separates Ark compared to other survival games is there are freaking dinosaurs everywhere, as well as creatures which you can tame and use as your minions. Uh, so what you can do is you can tame animals and they all have their own unique carrying capacity and you can have them follow you around and use their inventory space as well to carry that a little bit extra. At one point in the beginning of the game I had a couple of dodos following me around carrying all my wood and thatch to make my first shelter. Rest in peace, beavers and butthead. You were both loyal and delicious. The next icon is your water and hydration levels. This basically shows you in game at all times how close you are to becoming dehydrated. Try to keep this topped up. This icon lets you keep an eye on your food level, which is basically uh, your current stomach capacity. Uh, more is obviously better. Uh, empty leads to starvation. This icon is your stamina bar. Uh, this drains from sprinting, jumping, gathering materials, hacking away with your pickaxe, axes, that kind of thing. Uh, this will regenerate quickly if you pause for a second. Uh, but it also, when it regenerates, you're basically taking food from your stomach capacity. The final icon is your health meter, or your health bar. Uh, when this reaches zero, you die. Try not to die. Now there are a few more icons that will show up on the right side. These are contextual, which means they will only show up during certain situations. You will have your O2 meter, which is basically how long you can hold your breath underwater. The icon with the three stars is your torpor, or your torpidity, which is basically your level of awakeness. Now the difference between this one is empty is good, as it raises it increases your chances that you could pass out. There are a few other contextual icons that will show up, if you see a house icon it basically means you're in shelter, if you're indoors with the door closed you're protected from the environment, the extreme weather, temperatures, that kind of thing. Uh, alternatively if you see a hand icon it means if you press your use key there is something you can pick up, a resource such as a stone or some berries, fibre. Alternatively, the same hand icon with uh, a circle around it, kind of a warning sign will mean you're pressing the button but there isn't, there's nothing to pick up. This final icon, the arrow, is basically your experience bar. Once it reaches the top, you'll gain a new level, you'll gain a new skill point to spend on an attribute, as well as some engram points to purchase new recipes for crafting. Which leads us to the next part, which is your inventory and character screen. Okay, starting from the top, we have your armor value. Now, this is not something that you upgrade via stat points, this is quite literally what you physically equip on your character. Different clothing and armor have different values. The higher the value of armor, the more physical damage reduction you have from dinosaurs and from players. Each piece of equipped armor or clothing also has its unique hypo as well as hyper thermo insulation values. Uh, now this is basically your resistances to extreme hot or extreme cold conditions. Uh, this can go up or it can be in the negatives. For example, if you have a full set of chitin armor, you have a great physical reduction, but your hyperthermia insulation is in the negatives, which basically means you're much more likely to uh, suffer from heat conditions. Alright, uh, now on to the stat points that you can actually increase by leveling up. Each time you gain a level, you will receive one skill point which you can assign to one of these stats. At the very top we have health. Each point you spend will increase your maximum HP by 10. Beneath is Stamina, which is exactly the same, uh, defaults at 100, each point will increase your maximum Stamina by 10, which obviously increases your, you know, how far you can sprint and how long you can harvest materials. Oxygen. So, what's obvious is that if you stick a point here, you're going to increase your lung capacity, how long you can hold your breath underwater, but what isn't clear is that you also increase your swim speed. Spending a point in the oxygen attribute will increase your lung capacity by 20 and your swim speed by roughly 5 or 6%. So 
So all of a sudden it becomes a lot more viable. If you spend five points, you're going to double your lung capacity and increase your swim speed by 25%. And we've all been stuck in that moment where we're swimming for dear life. There's a megalodon coming up behind us who wants to munch on our arseholes. Very bad times. Beneath that we have food, water and weight. Uh, they all start at 100 and spending a point will increase them by 10. Not much explaining needed. Melee damage. Each point you spend here will increase your melee damage by 5%. This also affects your resource gathering, hacking away at trees and rocks, that kind of thing. Uh, the more damage you do means it will be destroyed quicker, you will get your resources faster. A side note for melee damage, it isn't called strength, meaning it will not increase the damage you do with slingshots and bows. Movement speed. Each point you spend here will increase your movement speed by 2%. This is obviously walking, sprinting, it also affects swimming. But obviously if swimming is your priority, you definitely want to stick your points into oxygen instead. This is definitely, I think, the stat that I'm most conflicted on. Is it really worth it? If you're going to do it, you probably have to commit to at least 10 points to increase your movement speed by 20%. But then I think maybe it's better just get the extra stamina so you can sprint for longer. I am not sure. Let me know what you guys think. Fortitude. I think this is probably the one that most people were curious about when they first start up the game. It's not exactly obvious. Uh, what it does is it increases your natural resistances to the elements. Things like getting hot, getting cold, uh, how quickly your stomach and water will drain. Because of such effects, it also increases your resistance for your torpidity, meaning you're less likely to pass out with a higher amount of fortitude. Uh, in fact, fortitude is the only way you can increase your torpidity resistances. And each point you spend in fortitude will increase it by two. Crafting speed, pretty self-explanatory. Each point you spend here increases it by 10%. I am probably not going to use this stat at all. And at the bottom we have Torpor. Uh, this one you cannot increase with stat points. As I've already mentioned, fortitude will increase your natural resistance to falling unconscious when your Torpor rises. So guys, builds, what do you think? Uh, let me know in the comments what you're going for. Uh, there seems to be uh, a lot of questions online saying, you know, what should I be putting my points in? What is the perfect build? And kind of the reason I wanted to make this video is go through all of the stats, show you what it does, and you'll realize that there's no such thing as a perfect build. Everyone has completely different ideas. In fact, I think you'll probably find there's drastically different priorities from people playing on PvE versus PvP servers as to what they should be putting their points into. I'm playing on a PvP server, so straight off the bat, crafting speed, I'm not going to waste any points into that when I could get some extra hit points or, you know, stamina. Oxygen was originally probably one of my lower priorities, but now I know that it increases your swim speed, becomes uh, a lot more useful. Fortitude, how effective is it actually? It doesn't, you know, increasing your fortitude by two. We know what it does, but, you know, how long until we actually notice the effect? At the moment, there is no way for you to respec if you want to respend your points. And it's a lot of hours of leveling up, so I think it's important to plan ahead, think about what you're going to do, what sort of server you're on, what sort of build you need for your environment. Uh, hopefully this video helps out with that a little bit. Originally, uh, this video was also going to contain all of the status effects, all of the buffs, the debuffs, all of those icons that you'll get popping up in the bottom right hand corner. It's going on too long way too long so that will be in part two anyway that is quite enough of me sat here talking to myself like a lunatic i am gonna get back to reality jump online maybe find another survivor so i can throw my shit at him i'm Griff games thanks for watching see you next time Did you say you? enjoy that levitated bird you've actually just made a floater without the water your poo's here as well Pick it up, enjoy it, I insist. Stop, I'm totally out, where are you? Give him a special delivery. I need to find... <laughs> what, you reckon it'll get stuck again? No, give, it, give it a throw. Is that two flying? Yeah. You two are... Don't judge us, this is, this is how we have a good time. We all evolved from apes, this is just tradition. <laughs> when it's a real party, we throw it at each other. Yeah, there's been numerous times where... You're out having a few beers, you turn around and you see Sully coming at you with a handful of action. <laughs> <laughs>